Hello everybody, this is Jessica. How are you guys doing? I am doing good. I am going to be creating a shaker card for you guys. Um, shaker cards are really popular on YouTube and Pinterest. And, and I wanted an easy way to get it done and not have to be measuring stuff. And So I'm going to be using the art philosophy. Well, you have to measure, I guess, if you really want to and like to. But I like to do it as easy as possible. I am I have good news. I am a design team member for Jessica Wilson, which is Craft and Stampin' here on YouTube. And she has asked me to do Cricut cuts for her. And I love my Cricut, so I, uh, I was more than happy to accept. Close to My Heart has exclusive um, Cricut cartridges. They have three and one that's about to come out. Um, they have this art philosophy. They have this Artiste, which out of my 200 cartridges, this is my favorite cartridges. If anybody needs a cartridge and are just starting out, and I, even if you're not starting out, I have 200 of them. This is my go-to cartridge. It doesn't leave my table. Um, and the art booking cartridge. This one is not mine. I actually borrowed it from a friend. and She said I could borrow it for as long as I needed it. So I'm super excited. I do need to buy this one, but I'm going to buy the newer one since my friend has that one she graciously shared with me when I need it. And I haven't used it yet. So um, The art philosophy, again, is the one we're going to be using. We're going to be, if you're following along, I want to do this shaker card. There's tons of cards, guys. So let me just quickly show you guys all the endless possibilities. Here's this card base, and then you can use this and this circle and you're good to go for a shaker card so one two three cuts super easy glue we're done all of these card features you can use to make shaker cards guys isn't that awesome I'm going to be using this one right here and again it continues I mean the card has endless possibilities so this is all for shaker cards. It's so super awesome. Look at all these shapes. So you don't even have to like worry about fussy cutting. Even the, the clear plastic, you just put it on your Cricut. Let me see if I can get that. You just put it on your whatever shape you're doing. You cut it out. For instance, this circle. Okay, see that? This is acetate. That circle was... Let me show you this first image right here and it's this one so I just cut it out I didn't have to use my scissors or anything it's super awesome let me show you an example um, this is a little baby mer um, version of what I'm going to be doing today from page this is my prototype from page 24 and this is a sticker from the dollar store and it has some um, confetti in it. Do you guys see that? I put some hearts, some stars, it's a little alien guy. Um, and I just use white cardstock. White. And I just put a pattern piece of paper inside. Look how quick and easy. And I'm not kidding you, this probably took me all together probably four minutes to put together. So and the, the most time consuming is actually cutting the foam that's going to go in between here. So there's a foam. But that is it. So let's get started. So in order to cut this card out, you're going to need this piece right here. Which is the card base. And in order to cut this card base, all you have to do is... Let me use this overlay over here. So you go to the card function, which would be this fourth one right here. On this keypad, it would say card. You touch that, and then you just touch number four, and you're good to go. That will cut your card base. Then we need this piece right here, which is this one right here. And you just go to decorative layer, which would be number two. On yours, would say on your overlay would say decorative layer. And then you hit um, button number four, and that's it. And you have this piece right here. And then this piece, 
sorry guys, this piece also comes out with the center piece. And so I wanted to tell you guys, for this base, I actually used a eight and a half by 11 sheet. For this layer, I used this little paper pad, six by six. Um, Close to my heart has tons and I have a whole drawer full and I love it. But they are all discontinued so I'm not going to use them so I won't torment you guys. But I did use this Ellie from Three Bugs in a Rug and I get these from the expo and I've, I bought this about two years ago. Um, so I didn't buy any last year, I didn't see them. So anyways, so I just used two pieces of paper from here. I used this. I don't know if you guys can pick that up, but I actually use this blue with polka dots and this pink with stripes. Um, so I just cut the image twice. The reason why I did that is because I wanted to make two cards in one shot. So basically, with two eight, eight and a half by 11, you can do two card bases, or one 12 by 12, you can make two card bases, and with two what is this six by six papers you can make two cards so here we go so here's a card base I'm just gonna fold this and they have notches here so if you're using the Explorer you don't I have an Explorer. I haven't even taken it out of the box yet. Naughty me. But my husband bought me that and I kind of felt bad. Because we do have so many medical bills. Um, that I felt I was being naughty. Well, not me. He was. But there's the car base. Easy peasy. And then we're going to be using this and we're going to put, we can stamp our image here. We can die cut an image from the Cricut cartridges. There's tons of images on those three close to my heart cartridges or there's tons of image on any of your other cartridges. You can cut those out and put them on here and then you would put this here. Now, you, you can like on this card, cut, instead of using this, because I actually, for this card, I didn't use this piece, I actually just cut the whole entire piece, which was the this piece right here, on this card. And then I didn't have to line anything, but I wanted to save paper, use, because this paper pad is super cute, and I didn't want to waste it, so that's why I cut it twice to make two cards, and then you just align it up yourself. Which is not that hard. There you go, like that. See guys, can you see, see that? So, the thing with these, all you have to do is put the acetate right here. And put after you put the acetate down, you're going to put the foam. Your foam. And I recommend two layers. And this is super easy. You just cut one to this length, cut this in half, and then you have it for both. And you cut a strip for this length and you cut it in half and you have it for both. So I'll be doing that on camera really quick but I just wanted to explain that. So I did use another image. I used the Creative Friend. Love this cartridge too. I'm going to be using actually that school teacher and I got inspiration from this picture right here. So our theme this week is make something school. So here we go. So here's the opposite piece, see guys? Let me show you guys. So this one came with this one, and this one came with this one. Do you guys see that? But I'm just switching them so that they're not the same. I'm going to be using this one with this one, and this one with this one. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay, so let's get let's get gluing this. The only thing I did here was I put some I just wrapped some twine, and 
I don't even know where I got that twine from. So sorry. I did put the oh shoot. I did put the acetate already on, which kind of has me worried because it's looking dirty. And I don't want to clean it on camera. But I don't want to glue it like that. So let me just take a quick minute and clean it off. So that way I'm not hating my card after I'm done. Sorry guys, I should not have put that acetate on. thought I was going to save time, but the wrong, long run it didn't save me time. It cost me time. Alright. That's as good as it's going to get. The acetate is on there. I just cut a square. If you don't want to cut a square, I just didn't want to waste acetate. You just use your Cricut button again and you just recut one of these images and you should be fine one of these so here we go this is what so this is the way I'm going to do it you can find easier ways to do it everybody crafts differently I'm actually not going to hear it well I'm just gonna hear it Something hard though. I hate that for my notes. Try to speed this up as much as I can. Sorry, guys. All right. So here's the image that I cut out. Isn't she cute? A little school teacher. She has a little book. I just wrote that myself. Wrote the ABC myself. Cut out using that same paper pad. I'm just gonna place her here because I need to hurry. Um, because the video is at 11 minutes. So I'm gonna try to do this really, really quick. I know I can speed it up. Well, I'm just guessing that's where she should go. Eepers. Here's the problem. Yeah, I glued her. But she's not really glued down. So. Hope I'm in frame, guys. Okay. I'm just putting glue on this little girl, on this little teacher. Put a little too much glue, but that's okay. I just want to make sure the seeping is controlled a little bit until it dries because if it's not all right okay I think she turned out super cute I use a peachy keen stamp for her face which is in the garden faces the assortment one and here's where the tricky part comes so I'll put that card there and so sake of camera I've cut out some. And this twine is going to be, you just put it flush to the edges. You need to put it flush to the edges. That's the biggest key with this. Because if you don't, your sequins or whatever you decide to put inside the shaker card is going to be everywhere. This is not as hard as it seems. But it is when I try to cheat. Cheaters don't get anywhere, right guys? 
keep trying to tell my kids that. Here's going to be... So here is the big thing. And these corners right here, make sure you put them flush. So just use your scissors. Flush. See you guys. And don't throw that away. Don't throw that away. So you can use that. You guys can see what I'm doing. I wish my daughter was here. She's sleeping now. She woke up for about five minutes and went back to bed. She gets upset when I do videos without her. And then I'm just going to rip this off. And I'm going to do it double because I have layers on that Cricut cut. The more layers you have, so you can use a stamp image. You can use a sticker like I used in that first one. The dollar store has a lot of stickers. Close to my heart sells stamps. And I have lots of those. I should. But a lot of them are discontinued. I have a whole entire drawer, guys. Of I'm just cutting this in half, like I told you guys. And, um, doesn't matter. Um, and I don't want to tease you guys with something that's not available. So I chose to be a good person and not to use those. I might cheat here and there and tease you guys. But they have some awesome, I just can't financially right now. Buy lots, I, I do have some stuff coming in from Jessica, but I'm waiting for them. I hope I get this. If not, I'll have a part two, guys. That is not a good thing. I'm just gonna take that out. This makes it easier for me to see what I'm doing. I didn't cut this very straight because I'm struggling with time. I'm gonna try to fast forward as I highly doubt I'm that smart. I'll try. That's it. That is what's going to ensure that the pieces stay in there. I'm just going to peel this off on some of these. I love this card. I hope this is still recording. Okay, guys, for the shaker part inside, I got these from the dollar store. From the dollar store, you can put those. You can use these. These I found at a drift store. And you can get these and use these. These were from Walmart a long time ago. But I'm going to be using these. These are from the Royal Castle on Facebook. But I'm going to be using some of these. Some of these. Some of these. Um, you guys, I have a blog. You guys can head to my blog if you want to see the pictures. Or <clears throat> This card was cut out. I failed to tell you guys this card was... Cut out at, should be standing up, at five and a half. It's a little bit bigger than an A2 size card, but I wanted it that way. So for me, it's perfect. I don't do that, don't do that. Put your shaker stuff in, guys. I don't know what I'm thinking. I'm just trying to finish the card. Okay. Put your shaker cards in the stuff you're putting in. Let me see if I have time to do it. I'm going to try. If not, I thank you guys for hanging around. I will have pictures on my blog. And I will probably have part two or something. So you guys can see it. You put as much as as little as you want. I don't think I want that much, actually. Not because I'm being stingy, but I just like this card. So I didn't want to make it tons. I want to use some of these. Could teach us our stars. 
Her little star is cute. And some of these pink ones. Little hearts because we love our teachers. There we go. And I think that's maybe a little bit of these this green here just to give it some. These are little hearts too. Wait. Okay. All right. Should we use some of those blue ones too? All right. I think that's good. I think that makes a good shaker card, and we're gonna put it together. Yikes! Come on, little confettis. face but we're just gonna keep it there just so we glue it down. Here we go. Here's my card, and I put this piece a little crooked, but oh well, that's the problem with doing stuff on camera. Here's my shaker card. Isn't that cute? I think that's cute. I think that's super cute, guys. Don't you guys think that's cute? So here's my card. Um, thank you guys for watching. Sorry the video was so long. I just wanted to show you guys the endless possibilities that you can do using the Art Philosophy cartridge. And a Cricut image, a sticker. These were all from the dollar store. Look guys. Look at all these cute stickers that a little kid would love to have a shaker card with. Isn't that cute? Okay, thank you guys for watching. Again, this is from the Art Philosophy from Close to My Heart. And there's tons, tons of... Um, wrong card. Tons of images that you can use with this cartridge to make shaker cards. And you don't have to guess and you can use shape cards. I actually have, I actually made this card because I'm going to be making some cards for the teacher. Here's the acetate that I cut out. But look at this card right here. Isn't this card darling? And this is just dictionary paper and a cut from I believe this one's the art, the artiste cartridge. And I just used the rim. And isn't that cute for a teacher? Wouldn't a teacher like that? A set of five? I think she would. You can make this into a shaker. You can just leave it plain like that. I'm going to be making other shaker cards. Thank you guys for watching. You guys have a wonderful day. Again, here's my cute project. You guys have an awesome day. Bye.